Hello, and welcome back to The Witness. I had quite a number of people trying to inform me that the town is not really a place that I'm supposed to be at right now. The town is filled with much harder puzzles, and the town is mostly kind of an endgame-ish area, and don't worry about it, and things like that. And while I understand that's done with completely good intentions, Please do keep in mind that this is a puzzle game, you know, the whole point of it is trying to figure things out like that, and I was piecing it together in my head, like, that's that's what you're supposed to do. The only way you can know that the town is not a place that you're supposed to be is to wander around in it, check everything out, and see what you can and can't solve, and when you can't solve, like, eight puzzles in a row, that should clue you in that, hey, maybe we should go elsewhere. So just a little thing, don't worry about me, I'm not frustrated. I know it can come off like that sometimes where I'll say things like, I don't see how this is possible, or what do you even do here, or something like that. And when I do that, it's, it's just for commentary, it's just voicing my thoughts. I don't actually, I'm not frustrated and I don't actually want to be told the answer. So ju just a little quick heads up before we get into today's episode. That said though, there's definitely some guidance that is very much appreciated, like, for example, when I was told that I had missed an entire puzzle line over by the, uh, canyon that I call it. It's not a canyon, but, you know, the first laser. I had, like, stared right at that line of puzzles, but I just, I forgot about it after doing the laser, because I figured, oh, I'm done here in this area, right? Let's just leave. There was also, uh, someone mentioned one of the sort of tutorial-looking puzzles about the four yellow blocks. I couldn't figure that out because I failed to realize that that entire board was covered in mandatory black dots. Like, you had to go through every single node on the board. And again, that's like something I looked at, I processed, and I just failed to understand something that I should have already known. It was a mechanic that was already introduced, you know? That kind of stuff is totally fine. So, I guess use your, your judgment, but lean on the side of maybe not telling me things, because that is the beauty of this game. If I struggle somewhere, I can just go elsewhere, because it's so open, and maybe figure out some tricks that will help me in figuring out the thing I was struggling with, and whatever. I also just want to thank you for all of your comments overall. This series has been doing better by my standards, and there's a lot of people that are engaged and commenting, and it's very encouraging to see so much engagement and all that. Now, let's get back into it. So, we just watched some kind of BBC science versus art thing, and I didn't really get too much out of that. I'm not sure really what it ties into with a story or anything, if it even does. It felt very just, like, completely separate from the game. Quite odd to even put a broadcast, like a BBC show clip into your game, is that even legal? I guess he probably had rights, but I'm also a little concerned about, like, putting that in a video. Isn't that, like, property of the BBC? No idea. But I guess we just kind of won't think about it too much, and let's just move on. So we have one of these unlocked. I assume if I click this... Oh. Oh, interesting. Huh. I was gonna say, I assume if I click this and, like, complete it again, it would show me the entire thing. But no, you can actually, uh, just see the last bit if you want to, or, like, skim through it. Okay, that kind of makes it seem like it might actually have something to do with, uh, like, the game itself and a puzzle? If there's something you need to, like, find in it? Huh, that's interesting. Also, this thing... I did have another idea for, I was looking in editing and saw some things, I think I might understand these, but not quite, but I noticed when I did something like this, I think I did, right? And then when I do that, this one goes, like, gets taken out by this thing, and this one takes out this one, but then if I do this, uh, wait, let's do the same again. Same thing again, now this one gets taken out instead. But if we do this, then this one gets taken out, and now that one will get taken out, 
every single time. So, I think these ones will always take out one target of the color that has the fewest in the area that it's in, basically. So, like, if I do this, now there's two whites and one black connected to that one propeller pinwheel thing, I don't know what to call them, which means the black will get removed. So, in doing that, we need to both separate white and black, but also make sure that, like, if I do something like this, this is actually fine. This would count as, like, the left one down there being separated because it would get removed. So now this is only blacks here. So I don't know exactly how to do this, but we just need to make sure that they... Wait, can't I just... If I just encapsulate three of these, like so, and then finish it, this should mean that because there's one last white in the top right, that'll get eliminated, and there's one last black in the bottom middle, that'll get eliminated. And that might work? There we go! Hey, that's cool! Editing to the rescue yet again, and the door just opens! You don't even have to solve this! I guess that's just like an... an option. And we are... yeah, exactly. We are here where I thought it is just like a, a little shortcut thing. So I guess this one is just, you can you can solve either one, either one you think is simpler, but I mean, of course, I'll want to solve both, but again, I still don't have any clue what these actually mean. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Uh... Hmm. No, I have no idea. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait with this until we figure out more about the the blue boxes and all that stuff. So let's keep moving on for now, not play around with that. And yeah, I mean, even though I know this town is definitely like not where I'm supposed to be at, I still do want to like explore everything. I want to just get a feel for the the land, see what everything is, what there is to find, and. You know, I haven't checked some buildings, I think. Maybe I have checked most of the buildings at this point, honestly. But that's that's good. Just getting an overview of this town means I know what's there. So I can, like, if I find a puzzle type that I recognize from the town, maybe I can then learn to uh, understand them later on. Yeah, I don't really think we can do much else here anyway. So I think the town is basically complete for now. As complete as I can make it, at least. I was also told uh, to, basically a, a little small hint, it wasn't really a big one, about go back and look at the, uh, the like, temple thing, because there was something, like, off about the, uh, the first puzzle that I, I could see, and I checked in the video and almost instantly noticed something. I don't know if it's actually what the solution is, but I noticed something that seems awfully suspicious, and I'm relatively certain I can at least solve the first one here, but we'll have to see if it's the same for all of them or how that works. But I saw on this one right here, if you pay attention to the sun, you can actually see the wear and tear of like, this doesn't even make any sense because this isn't scraping. This is like light, isn't it? But anyway, you can see... The path that was most used... Oh yeah, wow. Holy crap, that is so obvious when you stand here. That is way more obvious than I thought it would be. I just saw, like, this tiny, like, scratching thing. Not, like, the entire thing just being... Being, like, a, a guaranteed, here's the path. So there you go. Alright, that's very, very simple. And is it just the same on all of them? That would be weird if it's just exactly the same thing, and you just have to, like... Yeah. I mean, we don't know for sure, but does it go down here, maybe? Yeah, it goes down there. I guess you just kind of have to assume that. Just, like, fill in the little blanks. And now that goes over here. Oh god, this one is very... 
very covered. We can see... Wait, this one? Ah, it can start here. So, I mean, I assume it doesn't go straight through. I assume it goes around the entire thing, but maybe that's... That's not true. Okay. Hey, I understand that, like, when it does this, it's to prevent just brute force trial and erroring the puzzles, but it sure is annoying having to go back and redo a puzzle. But how else... I can't, like, change the light, can I? Wait! Oh! Oh! Oh, here we go! Wait, could I do that on this one too? No. Not on this one, but this one you can shift around. Okay. So we can move it, like, over here. What? I guess it's already there? Yeah, there we go. And now it moves to the other side. Aha! So it goes down and then over here. Alright, so that should be everything. I should be able to do it now. Just this and then down and in there. There we go! Alright, this is a cool puzzle so far. And now these three are here. This one just goes straight down. Can I get that one to, uh... Maybe I have to, like, rotate this thing? It seems like it. Can I do it from here? You can! Wow! That's pretty impressive. You can do it from that far away. Huh. I guess as long as you can see it, you can interact with it, maybe. And were there any other things? There was this one down here, but that's depowered now, or unpowered. And here, I don't see the sun, sun glare. If only I could, like, turn them, rotate them a little bit. I assume it's not just the same. No. Okay. What else could I do here? Do I just have to find, like, an angle where the sun does glare into that? Maybe from up here? Come on. Glare. Not really. But how else would I turn this thing to get the sun to... Reflect on it. Hmm. I mean, it's not just like... This kind Oh, God, Jesus. Sensitivity. Like, that kind of thing? No. Hmm. And I couldn't just see some, like, wear... On the thing itself? Can I? Oh, wait, you just, like, look at it? Hold on, if I just stare at it for a while, it almost seemed to get brighter. Did it? Guess not. Oh. Oh, there we go. Wait, here's something. Um, very hard to see, though. That might not be what you're meant to do. All I can see is that it's not here. So that might not be all that helpful. Hmm. How do I turn these around? And I can't... I, like, I failed this one down here, which is sad. I had one chance, but now it's unpowered, so... What do I do about that? That's just from this one. It's as if I... Was this even supposed to be powered at the start? Was that like a speedrun thing? If you just happen to know the answer, you can just do it like super fast. I don't know. If I move this one back, it doesn't change anything elsewhere. There are some down here that we could actually solve now. Like, assuming I knew what to do, but I don't. Hmm.
Yeah, now I'm... Now I'm confused again. We're making some progress, at least. Also, I can't even remember where the, uh, like, yellow box tutorial was at. The one that I failed to notice the, like, black dots. I'll just get back to it at some point. It doesn't really matter. I'm sure I'll find it again. But, man. Where else could I... Oh! Oh, there we go! Aha! Okay. So there's one. So th I just have to find the angle. Like... Somewhere here, maybe? No? Closer? There we go. There we are. Wow, that was actually, like, pretty close to what I, I tried. But there we go. Cool. Those are done. Um, now, though, now I bet I probably have to, like, go up here. Uh, not here. To get the glare, it's probably, like, this way. Wait, maybe here? No. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, wow. Okay, that's super simple. There we go. And now we finally have this one powered again. And now I turn this over here. Where can I uh, see the sun glare here? Maybe I have to turn it some, like, weird direction. Or just stand, like, right up next to it. Okay, so it ends by going straight down. We know that much. But it's hard to get a glare anywhere else. Oh, right there. Got it. Is that everything? So yeah, pretty much all of the puzzles here are very, like, you know, it's the same... Stop. I, I guess I can't. It just has to rotate. It's just the same concept over and over and over. Did that lead over here, then? Yes, it did. Now this is open, so now we can enter the tomb. Nice. Another door here. Not sure what that did. This one turns on a light, which I guess can like cause some glare. Maybe. Yeah, I can I can see some stuff here. Do I just turn on all of them at the same time or can you only have one? You can only have one, okay. Hmm. No, oh, that shows this part. Maybe I just have to see, like, a bit here and there. So I see... It looks like it starts... Does it start here, or does it, or does it end here? It's kind of hard to see. It's really hard to see. It kind of looks like it ends there, but maybe not. Also, what the hell is that? Like, sword? Oh, is that up there? Yeah, that's that. Okay, that looks like a sword in the shadow. So that... Ah! Gives me that part. And... Now I have everything? Do I? Yeah, it definitely ends here. So this one is just... That? No? Oh, right, wait. It, yeah, right, right, right. This way. 
is one. And then this one... I guess it's not about seeing a little bit at a time, we just want to like find the one configuration where you can see everything at the same time. Yeah, that one isn't very helpful. This one is. Right here is the start. I mean, it seems like it just goes up there. I don't know if I'm supposed to just, like, infer that. Just this kind of thing. Get in there. That? Yeah, that is right. I don't know if that's exactly what you were meant to just assume. Or if you can see the middle point at some point or in some way. You can't, like, rotate this, can you? No. I'm not entirely sure. Turning off all the lights. Doesn't do anything. This one doesn't light up enough. That was over there again. This one doesn't really light it up either. Okay, alright, we have some stuff here. It's hard to tell where it, what it is though, it goes like this I guess? So then... We check the middle one. Middle one just doesn't seem very useful at all. Can't get any glare to happen anywhere. And the left one... Doesn't seem all that useful either. If I leave it at the right one... But then, like, go up again and look down? Can I see something there? I need the sun to, like, reflect in better. I'm not sure I can do that right now. It's not just like what I saw, right? It has to be more than that. Whoops. Because yeah, here I just see... Like, I, I guess I see that it ends there, probably, but, like, it surely it's not just this. No, it's not just that. So there's more to figure out, but how? It has to be with the different lamp positions. I just have to find somewhere to stand, I suppose, but it's not easy to see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so we're going, like, this way, and then at some point we go in here as well. So maybe it's, like, if it starts here, it goes, like, up there or something? I mean, I could just try it, but, like, I don't know if I want to... Do I want to just try things? Like, that doesn't seem like what you want to do. But yeah, okay, that's some progress, at least. And then the left one... Ah, there we go. Okay, so we go from here, down here, up here, but then now I don't know. We somehow, like, go this way, maybe? No. Maybe just like that? No. I guess I just need to look more closely then. Maybe I should take some screenshots, I don't know. And turning it off, does that help? No, I can't get any glare to happen from that. 
Left one again. What's just that? Just going down that bend. Middle one. Was here. Ending over there. And taking a bend there. So you go all the way down. In there. But then from that point on. We don't know for sure. Oh yeah, okay, wait, so we go this way. So I had that wrong. So we start here. Oh god, I can't even can't even see. That should be fine. We start here, go in here. Now it can't go this way, because then we can't go down here. So it has to go in here, and then it has to go this way. So there we go. That actually isn't any guessing. That you can get 100 percent of the uh, information from that. So there we go, that's cool. Well, I guess maybe we'll just cliffhanger it here. We've unlocked the door down into the deeper dark tomb, and we'll check that out next time. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!